You see, when the person read 20 to 1 day, it said that you will be able to discern what is true and genuine to have an intelligent apprehension of, 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 of what is right and wrong, of what is good and evil. Somebody described the millennial generation as the most tolerant generation ever to live on the planet. The most tolerant generation. Tolerance in the sense that everything is okay. If it is good for me, then it is good. If he takes two, three girlfriends, what is wrong with it? And that parents are being forced now to even entertain and because most parents are traditionally resisting and making young ones to understand that there is a fine line between good and evil and you've got to choose to do The current generation is also speaking back and saying that you are a hater if you do not accept this practice, if you do not accept this policy. A generation that is open to anything and yet the Bible says that the way to destruction is so wide you can literally do anything. No standard, no policy, no law. When you live in that kind of environment and atmosphere, you are conditioning yourself for a possible destruction ahead. God did not create the world and then retire. I will retire it. His laws are actively in full force on the line. Sometimes we say that America is a country of laws. Yes. That is why people behave the way they behave orderly. You are driving, people are careful, and you follow the traffic laws and everything. It is because of enforcement of law. If you must know how to establish law and to follow law, God has laws, God has principles. Life cannot be a free for all time to say. God has a standard for us, and we've got to pray to follow that standard of excellence. God says you should be able to distinguish between what is right, that's what Paul said, and what is wrong. What is right and what is wrong. He said decisions and things should be esteemed according to their real value. Real value. When things come your way, assess and ask yourself, is this real? Is this the best? According to the passage we read, it is saying that you may be able to approve of the things that are excellent. Thank you, never tell you you should approve only. That is, you should approve only of the things that are excellent. Things that are genuine. There's too much fakeness in the system. Guys will come to a lady and they'll say, You are the merchandise of the people that live on your website. I want to marry you and take care of you. And you, know, and you look behind all those words and you see a high level of fakeness. You should be able to, by the Spirit of God, assess and approve the things that are real and are excellent. The other time I was telling you of this lady who said, he's been watching on Facebook and people are having weddings and they're getting married, they're laughing and they look so excited. We've already had in this conference that not all that you see is truly so. Don't be worried about what you see on social media. Demolish an old wall. You could be 